Here to tell us a little bit about the Medical Negligence Division is Randolph Janus. Randy, tell us about the Medical Negligence Division and how we go about prosecuting a medical malpractice case. Sure thing. First of all, we are a team. We utilize experts from virtually every area or specialty of medicine to analyze your case and testify on your behalf. In conjunction with the lawyers and paralegals, we prepare your case thoroughly and with one goal in mind, proving malpractice and winning. Randy, tell our viewers about the type of medical malpractice cases we handle. We prosecute cases in many areas of medicine, from babies brain damage to birth, to failure to diagnose cancer, and so many others. How about some examples? We have a case of a young girl who experts tell us suffered brain damage due to medical malpractice. Our experts tell us her injuries should have been prevented. In the hours prior to her birth, she had inadequate oxygen. This should have been immediately recognized and addressed. Today, the child suffers developmental delays and brain damage as a result of this malpractice. We work diligently each day on these types of cases to strive for the very best outcome for such clients with one goal in mind, proving malpractice and winning. What about cases where there's a failure to diagnose cancer, like a breast cancer or other cancers? The first case that comes to mind is a case we just tried of a 48-year-old electrician who had a polyp removed from his tonsil. The pathology report of the polyp indicated it was precancerous, yet the doctors never did anything about it, resulting in the spread of cancer and tragically the death of this father of three. When the doctors and insurance company refused to offer settlement, we went to trial, and after two weeks, they offered a very substantial multi-million dollar settlement for the widow and her children. When others would have backed down, we persevered. What about cases that arise from what should be routine medical care? Well, for example, we are prosecuting the case of a colonoscopy gone wrong, a gentleman whose colon ruptured during a routine colonoscopy as a result of the carelessness of his own physician. Unfortunately, we've handled successfully many similar cases like that. We also have the case of a woman undergoing cataract surgery, a fairly routine procedure, who prior to surgery did not have sufficient anesthesia, as she desperately told her doctors that her anesthesia was insufficient and that she felt pain, they did not properly address her complaints, and as a result, the surgery continued with insufficient anesthesia, resulting in this unfortunate patient suffering loss of vision to that eye. These are all awful cases where people's lives were ruined and our team of lawyers, experts, and paralegals are working together to attain justice and help those folks and their families put their lives back together. Thanks, Randy. My pleasure. If you'd like to know more about our track record, go to Verdicts and Settlements, or to get the process started, go to our Case Evaluator page or give us a call.